Hi, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Josh Williams yeah. again. Yeah, I'm Jeff Rapport again. Yeah, again. Ali again. And we're here with Alex and John Wichko. Yeah, there you. there you go. I was going to ask how you, how you Alex properly, Books, by the way. pronounce your last name. Wichko, huh? It's Wichko. Well, I see a lot of your movies. Like a book. Really? Yeah, yeah. really? Do I make movies? Right. It's, uh, it's Russian. So my uh, grandfather, when he came over to the country, had to cut her name in half to make it sound more American because it was right. you know, if you were Russian in those days, you were. Well, no, when you come into Ellis Island, they're like, oh, you're American now, so you don't need this. Yeah, yeah. It's books of Elvis, actually. Oh, really? Cut in half, yeah. It was cut in half. That happened to my uh, mother. Uh, her, her name was Altberger, mm -hmm. and then it became Ald, like Ald Lang Syme, when she right. came over here. Same thing. They changed mm -hmm. mine from Mick Williams to Williams. Mick Williams? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's real. It's you're, for real. I know. It sounds Nick. fake. Uh, mine was Boutieri. Now it's Bob. I was Klitschko. Ooh. Now I'm just Lichko. <laughs> Nice. But yeah, we like a boxer, like the yeah, the, the <laughs> twin or not twins, but giant. Yeah, boxers, two yeah. two giants. So we all have different names. Yeah, no, right. but we all do it's the kind of things. Strange. Our names change too on our own. I mean, you're Alexander. Yeah, but you go Alex, by Alex. Right? Alex yeah. I'm right. Jeffrey. I go by Jeff. Sounds the same. Well, you could go by you're Joshua, three. you go by Josh. You go by you're three. You're Brianna, and you go yeah. by Brian. So. Three. <laughs> <laughs> we're learning. That works out really well. We all share our name on our own without even being. See, my name is John, though. See, not John, not to be confused with Jonathan. Jonathan no. was J O N. I'm John. J -O -N. You were Johnny Boy. I'm with John the Baptizer. All right. John the Baptizer. <laughs> baptizer. <laughs> yeah, well, John the Butcher. <laughs> I'm going <Holy> Baptizer. <laughs> nice. So, uh, incantation uses a lot of goat imagery, right? Yeah. Did you ever, it during the goats. Did you ever fuck that's, one? That's our. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you ever fuck a goat? I see uh, him. Our drummer has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's fucked a lot of goats. Right. Actually, How, on the, like on the scale of uh, close to a woman's vagina, <laughs> oh, he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. But in yeah. it's just a vagina. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what's <laughs> yeah. attached to. Incantation has been through. Not speaking for a lot myself. Of bass players it. also. I was wondering how many. Uh, they did through a lot of members. Well, yeah. yeah, that too. But bass players is like fifteen or sixteen. Well, how many spinal tap jokes you guys get? Speaking of members, oh, yeah. that when you put you in the goat. Well, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, uh, the members they were basically like just touring guys. Sure. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, unfortunately, the bass player that the previous bass player that was replaced by our, our now it was a multi-member. Chuck Sherwood mm -hmm. um, from Sherwood Farm. He actually passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, Chuck Sherwood didn't pass couple, away. No, no, a couple months ago. And oh, yeah, unfortunately. That's a shame. So, uh, you know, but he don't pass away, for, Chuck. Yeah, he was in the yeah. band for quite yeah. some time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we want so. Chuck alive. We but yeah, Chuck. there's been quite a few bass players. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys are gonna play the Neurotic Death Fest coming up really soon, right? Uh, we actually did that last year. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we have. Uh, <laughs> you say moronic? <laughs> no. neurotic. neurotic. I'm neurotic. sorry. Yeah. They so we have Jeff. Uh, hey, what? Yeah. Inaccurate. Uh, August, neurotic. That was inaccurate. Yeah, that was last year. year actually, I'm sorry. We have uh, highly uh, inaccurate. Brutal Assault. We're playing Czech Republic. Uh, we're playing um, Party Sand in Germany. We're playing. Summer Breeze in Germany. Summer Breeze. You know, it's pretty, pretty, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like us. Awesome. There's like a lot of, you know, like Immortal, Ministry, a lot of different bands, and Unleash. And Unleash! Full Thrower. The Utter Dark Demo. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Metal's still bigger in Europe, and has oh, been for a while. I yeah, was wondering if there's, if there's anything that, that maybe they do over there that could be done in the States. I don't know if it's the well, festival kind of stuff, because we have some festivals. We do, but yeah, think, cancel American Idol. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing is, is it's not the, um, really, the, I mean, the organ, organization is obviously better, it's much more professional, but the thing is, it's the people, and mm -hmm. the problem is, is that uh, people in America, are, it's, it's, we, we live in a country that's very, uh, how, how do I say this, trendy, plastic, uh -huh. And you know, it's whatever, all about the pop, whatever, whatever the flavor of the week is, people like exactly. And in it's your fashion, people, I think it's in their culture that it's a very like so, social kind of thing of going to like why well, they have festivals and things sure. like that. And people, you know, they're much more um, appreciative of arts and and they respect the arts. Like here in America, it's like if you're a musician, you're looked at like. Oh, it's they're all fucking yeah. brain. It's they're all you know brainwashed in the United States. Yeah, it's, 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 it's all homogenized bullshit that they're into. The shit that they see on TV that they're fed every fucking day. That's the crap they're into because they don't have a fucking free will or a fucking or. or there you go. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Try that for the next time. Yeah, yeah. No. It's true. You can, <laughs> even like comic book artists are considered like real professions and respected mm-hmm. careers over there, and the, over here it's just like, oh, really? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it, it is. It is night and day. It's like you know, where you play in front of consistent big crowds in Europe, where over here it's like you know, hit or miss. It's, I mean, it's only certain areas like you play. There's New pockets, York, yeah, but New York City is good. Parts of California, and North Jersey is good. Yeah, usually. It's okay. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's not a question. Yeah. That's yeah. not what you're into. Of course, like South America and, you know, Mexico is really strong. Really. For you're better to get a passport if you're... Antarctica. Yeah. yeah. The war made an album there. you got to hit up, like, the landscaping scene, then. The, the landscaping yeah. scene? What? <laughs> what? Popular Mexico. I'm not saying Mexico. What's that? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you, um, you're also in the... Uh, you should drive, like, a pickup to your show and... Yeah, <laughs> stop in front of Wawa's and maybe, maybe just go to Home Depot. Home Depot just get in, dude. Yeah. Home Depot tour. That, you're also in uh, the touring band. Well, you were in the touring band for Master. Yeah, right? yeah. With uh, our, our buddy Rustin. Yeah, yeah. Rustin did a tour with with us in 2008. Also jammed with me in Perverse. Yeah, he did it. Yeah, yeah, he actually did. Yeah. So you wait again to, too. I was actually going to ask you to tell us your most embarrassing uh, a Rustin story. You tell us about. Okay. I'm sure, you're something about Rustin. I hate to embarrass you, buddy, but uh, <laughs> oh, you know, me and Paul would would basically be on the road, and we'd have rules like, hey, we got to get here at a certain time, and you know, we all go to the bat piss at the same time, <laughs> and go eat at the same time, and all that stuff because we got a schedule. So obviously, Rustin's a lot younger than than us, and <coughs> uh, I think we probably just. Which I say, is you're responsible. Well, so Green. basically, we uh, we get out of the get out that. of the van and. Rustin, we're going to go take a piss. Rustin's back there sleeping. Oh, my God, I'm sleeping. <laughs> okay, you know, and uh, <laughs> we come back to the van. Here he comes. He's coming out. Oh, I got to piss. You this <laughs> it. And next thing, then he's running across the street. He's got to go get food. Oh. You know. It's not really his and, fault. Uh, it's a drummer. Messing up the schedule. Yeah, so it's Paul, Paul would call him thing. Billy the Kid. You know, <laughs> and, but he took a lot of abuse on that tour. But I, I, the way I look at it, if he you know, survived Master, then he can survive anything. You know? And that was a pretty good first tour for him. Take our abuse, me and Paul's abuse every day, especially Paul's. And he's Russian too, right? Paul? Or, is it, is it, or no? Paul. Rustin? No, Paul is uh, German, I think. So no, is Rustin, I think. You said they all look the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Paul is in Czech Republic. He doesn't even live in. Canadians, tell them Canadians are really. the same. Yeah. Tell you that. Here's what I was thinking of Czech. Yeah, yeah. He, he lives there. <laughs> That's just he's from Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, let, let's continue the storytelling. What, what kind of King Folly stories do you have? King Folly? Um, I don't want to say I'm, I'm feeling <laughs> yeah, There's nothing uh, worse than he said. King saying. will be mad at me. No, he won't. No. Yeah. Um, Looks smooth. Well, actually, I do have a good story. It was, uh, King Folly's a big Voivod fan. <laughs> and he says his back hurts from, so from, from, from carrying the show. Probably. He, told me. he did say that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was funny. I do have, I do have one funny story. It was... Uh, in 1990, and it was in Buffalo, New York, and it was Glorophobia and Deceased. It was a second time playing there. And we were starving, I remember. And he was like, uh, you guys were sitting backstage. Oh, yeah. Is that when he had the plates and the plastic forks and everything? Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> all right. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, you were Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. So, we're, we're starving. He's like, you guys are hungry. We'll be right back. So, him and his whole entourage, all the Virginian maniacs, come back about... 45 minutes later, and they have plastic bags with the, you know, with the the uh, paper bags, with right. the plastic bags over them, like they just came from a shop, right, or a shopping bag, oh, or whatever right. it was, mm-hmm. and they had every kind of meat, every kind I think of it was acne. Uh, <laughs> bread that you'd want, I mean, they basically were all, you know, <laughs> uh, shop, right, oh, there you, you go. guys are hungry, we got this kind of ham, we got this kind of ham, we got this kind of cheese, we got this kind of bread, <laughs> we even got yeah, forks, knives, as he said, um, nice. you know. But it was pretty funny, you know what I mean? But it was also nice straws. Too, but, sure. You know, that was for a show. Yeah, yeah, the common... common share the deal for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. also had a, a wasp story that you were going to tell us. Yeah, I was, ex- I was in... I got stung by a wasp on my ass one time. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're talking Me too. Can I suck yeah. the poison yeah. from... Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> but, uh, was there any money in it for me? <laughs> I was in uh, Stockholm, Sweden, actually. And I'm sitting here in the airport... Sitting there and I'm looking at this guy, I'm like, man, that guy looks familiar, you know? He looked like some, you know, aged uh, LA sleaze dude from back in the day. And, and uh, 
He's like, going to see this video. Yeah, I know. He's going to kill me, too. You know? <laughs> but uh, I was on the plane, and I see him walking. I, he sits a couple seats away from me. And I'm like, good. I'm like, that's fucking Chris Holmes. You know? <laughs> so I'm the whole time on the plane, I'm like, I'm getting a picture with him. You know what I mean? I got to get a picture with him, you know? So we fly into Newark Airport. Picture of beer? Picture of beer. You know? Was he taking a bottle of vodka on the plane? Just going like this? Yeah, I just, yeah. In a pool? <laughs> I actually, yeah, he's laying on a float, video. too. <laughs> like, but, um, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm yelling at his airport. mom. Yeah, I'm in the airport, and uh, I'm, uh, I think it was his mom. Going towards the oversized back. Chris, you're going to drown in that tub. And I turn around, I mean, and I see him, and he's yelling, and he's pointing at me. And he's like, you, you fucking wait for your fucking guitar. Fuck this place. And I'm just like, and you know, this guy's like almost seven feet tall. Yeah, Why is he yelling you for the guitar? I, I, I thought it was somebody else. I was okay. just like, what the hell, you know? Yeah. And then he's like, fuck Newark Airport, fuck this airport. He's yelling. I'm thinking security's going to come. And this, you know, he's a pretty intimidating looking guy, yeah. too. And, uh, you know, so I'm just sitting there myself going, I guess I'm not going to ask for that photo. <laughs> you know? And I didn't get the photo. I met the rest of his band. They were real nice. And they're talking to me. And, and uh, they're acting like he's not even there. It's just kind of funny because they're probably used to it maybe. All oh, the time, yeah. you know? But he's just really mad. You know? He's mad at you. He's, he's yelling about That's him. why they were quiet. Well, I guess didn't he didn't want to piss him off. And yeah. I was waiting for my guitars. You know? and he was just pissed. I fuck this fucking airport. Fuck Newark. He's yelling <laughs> real loud. Maybe he just had a bad day. I guess he was, you know. So, he yeah, so I, I, unfortunately, true. I didn't get my photo with Chris Holmes. You know, I wanted to say, like, hey, I seen him in 85 with Metallica on and saying, you know, I'm an old fan. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. I think at any you point know. you should always just go for it. I, even at my worst moments when I'm having a bad <laughs> yeah. thing, I'm like, this may be my only time to see Chris Holmes. I'm going to ask him anyway. So, worst that's going to happen is he punches me. And then they got a good story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I just, yeah. I, I just got sucked a bunch by Chris Holmes. <laughs> there's never been too many people that I've met, like, I'm like, oh, I got to meet. Like, I recently met Michael Denner from Merciful Fate. And uh, that was a big deal for me because, um, you know, he's one of my favorite guitar players. So I was kind of like, you know, talked to him for all of him, pleasant guy. Yeah. So he wasn't yelling. That's how I felt when I was at Clam Fight. Right. I was like, I've been waiting my whole me life. Me too, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Clam Fight, holy fuck. This guy called me to get lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were actually they kind of nice. Time, yeah, I was surprised. They, like <laughs> they see my yeah, dude, Andy looks like a guy from Nunslaughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's your opinion on goat cheese? What? Goat cheese? I really I don't dig like goat cheese. No, I, I don't dig goat cheese. I like dude. it real creamy. Yeah. I like <laughs> Fomunda yeah. cheese. Yeah. <laughs> you like so. <laughs> what? <laughs> goat cheese is creamy. Yeah. Ear cheese is good too. Guy, you know. Yeah. yeah. Brown bitter tasting ear cheese. Like, what you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what do you prefer? Uh, so. Billy goats or mountain goats? Goats you say Philly goats, goats or Billy, Billy goats? Billy. Billy. Oh, I go with the mountain goats. Yeah, me too. They're not really goats, though. So they got more fresh That's a trick question. Oh, what? Belong to a different species. Yeah. What? What, you're like an Ibex and a goat? Do you have any more <laughs> goat-related questions? <laughs> <laughs> so that was all three of my questions. You can call it Ibex. <laughs> I guess this is tied in with the goat, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's going through a Ibex moon. Yeah. The theme. The theme. Ibex yeah. moon, look. Oh. Yeah. Wow. It's almost Wait, I'm not an Ibex. Hold on. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeffrey. I guess uh, my, my last question, the most important question, is um, are you honored to appear on Meta Rules TV and Absolutely. why? Absolutely. Yes, uh, thank you, Jeff, because I was surprised, <laughs> guess, you didn't even know about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just proud to be so Nobody ruined this guy your show. Right here, you Seriously. Know what I mean? <laughs> uh, no, absolutely, because, uh, you know, and Josh, I'm, too. I'm an underground guy, and I'm here to support the underground. And, and, and Brian. Uh, that's how everything works, basically. Do I get your names right? It's all, you know. All right. Metal music, if it wasn't for people like these guys. Metal right? music! You know, <laughs> we wouldn't, uh, Heavy we metal. What we're doing today, you know? So. Nice. So, for you guys, upcoming shows, CDs, I see a few here. What What do you guys got to plug? Alex, you can go. Uh, first, well, I'm recording the new, uh, the new Incantation record we're recording in June. So oh, yeah, okay. Uh, sometime this year, I guess. Uh, Starts in June? You haven't started June. recording anything yet? No, we this album's written, but we're, okay. we're going to the studio in June. Um, so that, and then we have some touring plans for July. And I'm not, I'm not going to say with who yet. I know I'll get uh, <laughs> persecuted for this without the press release yet. But uh, we're going to go to some South America yeah. and tour. And then we go to Europe um, through August, do all the festivals. And then we have some off shows with like uh, Hate Sphere and I think, and with Master. I think we're going to do some stuff. 
You're gonna do we, yeah, double duty. Yeah, so do that. Gonna, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, but I'll probably come up and uh, do a song, guess a song do cool. a Death Strike song or something. And, and then uh, the other band I play with, Fever Brown, we're gonna be recording a new record. And I'm glad you pronounced that for us. We're yeah, yeah. yeah. Better we were we were just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, yeah. We're playing in three weeks in New York City with Autopsy and uh, Autopsy. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing a new record that'll come out. Hopefully. How come we just made them foreign? What's that? Aren't they Americans? <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> it's all it's Autopsy. Autopsy. Like they were Germans. It's some dudes that we know from back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, these okay. dudes from Jersey from, City. From, right. They're Puerto they're Is Puerto Rican. Right? No, they're Autopsy. Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Autopsy. It's Autopsy. You know. Autopsy. Uh, Autopsy. You know. Autopsy. Yeah. Caucus. Caucus. Yeah. So you're busy. Yeah, yeah try three to Three bands, busy. three tours, three albums. Uh yeah, Funeral. Well the new Gorophobia came out a couple months ago. And then uh four bands. Yeah, so. You want to talk about any concerts that happened in the past? Yeah, let's do that. Again. <laughs> how, uh, how was it? Oh, like I do have a funny concern? story about a funny concert that I did in 1990 in Connecticut. This yes. <laughs> and this was uh, Gorephobia, <laughs> Necrosia, and his old band, oh. uh, Prophonic and Incantation. Oh, and God. The singer at, at the Fortune Cookie. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, the singer. The Chinese restaurant? Yeah, yeah well, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the so the we stage was this place, big. And we think, you know. It's got to be like a like Chinese-themed club or something. And, right. and the singer of Profanatica, Paul, booked the show, and he knew what he was doing. He oh, did yeah. things like that just to you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, screw yeah. with people. So uh, It was great, man. We was pull great. up, and I see... We were terrible, by Yeah, it. I see Craig from Incantation. He's out front. He's, you know? Well, you know? And I'm like, is this the place? He's like, yeah. You know? We get in there, and it's like, we go, we're playing death metal, and there's, like, uh, people serving... There's like, there's like old ladies in there. Next door, you got this guy going, I vomit on God's child. I vomit on God's child. That was that was pretty interesting, you know. So it was great. great. General Sos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then we got Chinese. We raised that. We raised that ground. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Forty so that was no kind of more after that gig. Yeah. So how about you, John? You got some new albums out here. Um, Where can um, people find these? Autopsy! Autopsy! <laughs> Just buy your autopsy. That's all you need to do. Yeah. Nah, but uh, seriously, uh, we have uh, the Necrosion was released. Uh, this is a compilation of like demos and outtakes and stuff like that. Uh, it was released by uh, Red Rum Records, but uh, we're distributing it in the United States at uh, InfernalCreations.com. Along with this, this was also this is Symphony of Grief. Uh, new EP, 2011 EP, also released on, uh, what was it again? His label. His My label. With your own name for all the creations. Why would you remember that? Infernal <laughs> creations. <laughs> <laughs> it's on this damn beer. How about this one? Yeah. And, uh, and this is an old band records. I did, you know, right before Perverse Raff. Um, this little history lesson. Uh, history. We did this right before that, like a month or two before I did the Perverse Raff demo. And uh, I just found a bunch of these. That were uh, laying in a box upstairs, so we have these two. Excellent. These, that's what it's called. <laughs> these. It's called these, yeah. We're going to dust them off Na before we Namtaru, yeah. the plagues of Namtaru, these. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and he has that as well. And that, yeah. so this is, right. wait, this is the yeah. back. See, hold and on. A few more demonstrations. And, and it looks, looks like a hairy cave yeah. uh, beast flower. Yeah. Um, Anyway, they're all available at piece, piece of paper. InfernalCreations.net. That's dot .net. <laughs> because people Infernal. still don't use net. You don't have to use <laughs> www. Dot anymore. Fuck dot com. I don't even know why it's on here. Yeah, fuck dot com. This is dot .net. Dot .net. We're living in the future here. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you guys Thanks for coming, guys. This is like global, right? So yeah, thank you, thank you to the we're on the air. Mother Earth. We are currently in 130 countries. Yes. yes, there you go. True fat, Dan. She's a little fat, but she's heavy, but you know. <laughs> but you know, heavy metal. So that's good. Hold up, Dan. Hold up, Sid. Thanks for tuning in. That goes out to Frank and Ephraim Garabello from Decay yeah. back in the day, by the way. Those guys. Yeah, yeah those guys. These Where days. are they now? In that. Where are they now? In a disco somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> the end. Thank you.